beautiful city. And even though everything looks imperial and magnificent, it's also a really easy city to get around and to see when you don't have that much money or if you don't want to spend that much money. In this episode, we're going to figure out all the tips and tricks to get around the city on a budget. We're going to eat for cheap. We're going to see all the sites for either free or cheap. And we're going to do a little bit of shopping that's not going to cost you a lot of money. So come with me and let's check out Vienna on a budget. So I think I'm going to order the tunnel breakfast. Thank you. Enjoy breakfast. Thank you. So. This is how we're starting our day. We are here at Tunnel, and this is an institution. It's basically a place where a lot of students hang out, and they've been hanging out here for years at night. There's a jazz club in the basement. There's also stand-up comedy, but if you want to have a really, really tasty breakfast on not a lot of money, this is a place where you can come to. So I'm at Schwedenplatz right now and I'm about to meet with Kati. Hello. Hi, nice to meet you. And Romeo. Hi. Nice you. And you guys are going to take me on a little insider's tour, see some tips and sightseeing in Vienna and yeah. all the things we can do on a budget, right? Exactly. But you are also running a blog. Yeah, we do. We are travel bloggers and we travel across the whole world, but we also love to come home. This is the ring tram. Um, this goes once around the, the Ring Boulevard. I think the better choice for travelers on a budget is to take the Ring number one or two. the whole circle around the first district. The only trick is you have to change it for Xerta. Then you have the whole circle. It's the Museum of Applied Arts, MAC. And the good thing is that you will get free admission on every Tuesday from 6 to 10 p.m. So you can enjoy all the exhibitions um, for free. Actually, another really fun and budget tip for Vienna is that the first Sunday of the month, of every month, a lot of the museums that are owned and run by the city of Vienna are actually free. We are at the 7th district. Do you like being here? This is actually one of my favorite districts for shopping because I'm a really big vintage freak and this whole district has lots and lots of secondhand shops and this is one of my favorites right here. What do you think is the most important thing that people know about when they come to this district or to this store? They always know that we get lots of stuff, like every day we get new new arrivals and every time they get here they find some new pieces. Like yeah. Here you can still find things that are really, really special for not like an exorbitant amount of money. Yeah. in a really nice restaurant, it's called Der Devan. It's the concept is you pay as much as you wish. Perfect for our pockets. Yeah. We're lucky enough to sit here right now with the owner of the house, so to say, himself. Sir Devan, maybe you can um, tell us a little bit about the entire concept of pay as you wish, how you even started doing things here. Uh, this we have started in 2005 and uh, at that time, uh, I was just new here in Austria. 
about the price policy that we had we want everyone to eat we was having the confidence that we are cooking a good quality and good taste so whoever is going to eat it is going to like that so that's why we have uh, decided this we will give the choice to the people and uh, so people responded well and uh, it is going until now and how much do the people usually pay average maybe in between uh, 525 530 uh, up to 6 euros sometime yeah. mm. Okay, and now I have a very special tip for fans of culture and music because we're at the State, op state Opera and usually the tickets are very expensive but um, there are tickets for, stand for the standing room which you can get very cheap, I think it's 3 euro or three even euro. less, yeah, really? it's very cheap. Okay. You're gonna get them right here. After the opera, a lot of people go to this sausage stand. It's very traditional, Würstelstand in Vienna, and it's yeah, called Pitzinger. Pitzinger, yeah. Viennese street food. So that was our episode on Vienna, on a budget. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the city as much as I did with little money as possible. Thank you guys so much for taking me around. Thank you. So next time, we'll see you again.